morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in our river journal. We're on the Snake River. Let's get this thing going. I've had a little person here. You saw her yesterday in a lot of art. She's been, for me, very distracting. Um, I usually can manage around her, but for some reason I can't keep thoughts together and... Oh, um, I don't know. So I haven't, yesterday I didn't work in my journal and the day before I really couldn't get things together. So where are we? Okay, that's not true. I filmed it and I started it in here. Is this. I don't like it. I one day might tell you the story. I'm going to leave it in there and skip over it for now. Oh my goodness, I only have one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. I do know that there is a ton, a ton of painting here. And I do know I need a clip. Um, I did want to, and I'm going to just talk through this one because I don't, they're just gone to the store. Today is Martin Luther King Day, so she's home, which means she's with us. Um, they went to the store, <laughs> so I'm trying to do a video. So I think I'm just, just going to take a bunch of the stuff she and I have been painting. I've been painting, and hold on, i got to plug in something else here and do something with it is my thought process I've made a bunch of signs this one's on vellum and I really kind of like the way that looks and feels can you hear it crinkling I've made a bunch of trees I, w I did want to talk about the origin of the Snake River the name as you can well imagine it is a very curvy river and the Indians called it the Snake River. Shoshone, Paiute. Mm. Seems like Arapaho. I think Arapaho were in this area. So I think we're just going to do some of these trees that I made the other day. Maybe. And maybe put in here Snake River. All right, let's see if I can write on this with a white pen. Um, I don't have a lot of luck with that Posco pen, but we're gonna see. But I gotta hear some vellum. Let's see if there's. And it's we're supposed to theoretically get now today's Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Happy, happy commemoration of Martin Luther King. Ooh. Oh, now, now it's working. Okay. All right. Um, this is actually a little too long, wide for my title, I think. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. Oh, I can use both of them. Okay. All right. Manhandle it a little bit. All right. I think I'm going to write the name. Let that dry a minute. We went ice skating again yesterday. That child, if you follow me on Instagram, you might see a little picture of her with another little girl. They were teaching her, the other girl was teaching her how to try to start learning how to jump. 
And I mean, I'm not talking Dorothy Hamill, Peggy Fleming jumping. I'm just talking jumping up in the air. Just to get more comfortable with the feeling of the skates. But her first lesson was Saturday. And during the middle of that lesson, they bumped her up to class number two. Because they realized she could already stand up on the skates. She could kind of maneuver her way through people. Um, and controlling a little bit of stopping and starting. So she is now in class level number two. Beyond my knowing, my husband signed her up for a private tutor also. So she's going twice a week, one in a group class and one in a, with a private tutor who happens to be the teacher in the same class. And she was there yes Saturday morning, Saturday, this is Monday, Saturday morning with her and talked to her and helped her a little bit Saturday morning when we were just there playing. The child loves it. And you can tell, I was sitting next to a mom who her daughter, her granddaughter, a, gr a grandmother, her granddaughter is on the hockey team there. And she said this, that child, she's so enjoyable to watch because she is having so much fun. And she has delusions of grandeur, yay her, because she is learning, how, she's teaching herself how to end and stand up and wave to a crowd. <laughs> It's hysterical, but it's so cute. Okay, enough about my granddaughter. Let's, too bad she's not blood related to me. Okay, the name of the snake. All right, I'm just going to put Indian tribes. Named it. the snake because of all its curves. Very generic, but true. Um, nothing fancy there. And I also learned, which I did not know, Sacagawea, which is a fam oh dear, that was there for a reason, is a famous American, a famous Native American, who helped Lewis and Clark, for better or for worse. She was married to a French fur trader, it seems like, um, and I think she may have been sold to him. Um, is Shoshone Indian, which I did not know that. I don't remember knowing that. I may have known that as a kid in history, but I don't remember. All right, we're going to nail down our trees. I'll have to use one of these. No, we're not nailing them down. We're going to glue them down. <laughs> All right. Um, what else has been going on here? Because I've been really just loaded up in kid um, or distracted by kid. We've been playing in a glue book. We've been playing in magaz, which is just the same thing. Pieces of magazines in a magazine. Cleaning out my paints, basically, is what we're doing. Because um, some of them, I have three of the same bottle, and all three of them have a third. So we're filling up one bottle with all of it and throwing out the other two bottles. Or repurposing them. I really like this size to keep right here. It's very easily managed for whatever reason. I don't know. So I don't want all these the same height or length or even. I'm kind of sporadically as if they were in a forest along the Snake River. I'm, I may not be finished with the cave, the um, Indian, Native American, whatever, section of this, but I might move on to other things. Uh, these two little trees are kind of out there, but pretty still.
I fell yesterday on the ice and fell right on my knee. Didn't break anything, but it definitely hurt. And I, I went a little bit longer after that, but I stopped. And this morning it's tender. Um, not unbearable, but tender. All right, is this dry? So we might get snow here Wednesday, and Wednesday is the day our art class was going downtown to do some fun stuff, and we may not get there. <laughs> Just depends. Right now it's a, I think it's like a 30% chance, but it still hasn't got over above freezing here yet today, and then by the weekend it's supposed to be nice. It's coming weekend. Okay, for me, vellum is hard to glue. Okay, that's a little better. Now, this needs something else, but I don't know what. Is this going to be the, the river of partially done? <laughs> and then I just keep adding to it? And that could happen! Because that's the beauty of these things, if you ask me. They're partially done. You can always go in and add other things. I always felt like in a 12 by 12 format, I couldn't add anything. And I put I always would put mine in pod, pod, page protectors. And I was always upset when they invented something else for a topic that I had, a trip that I had done, had gone on. I don't think that's good English there Beth but um I was like man I would have loved to have included that in my spread or whatever this needs some mountains hey this might be a mixed media page vellum Posco book text and watercolor. What mountains are through there? Sawtooths. Sawtooths. I hope I don't ruin this. rocks as a paperweight. Now this has had a lot of acrylic on it. Let's see what this paintbrush looks like, feels like. Oh, it's good. Okay. All right, let's try some brown. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that snake page, but we're not going to think about it for right now. Out of sight, out of mind. Capiche? I say that to Bella all the time. We got that word used on us a lot as kids. Capiche? I think it's like Yiddish for understand. Or Italian. Or Spanish. I don't know. We had a lot of all of that. Not Yiddish, but my mother would use some Yiddish. When you grow up in California, you grow up with lots of nationalities. Speaking of nationalities, Bella's ice skating teacher is definitely some sort of Eastern European, which they make great ice skaters. That ice skating rink, though, has um, pretty amazing hockey activities, adults and children couple different leagues for children. Um, ice skating is the only ice figure skating types rink, ice rink, excuse me, in um, this area of the state. <laughs> um, the lady that I was sitting next to, her granddaughter comes here from way, way on the other side of Columbia, and she lives on yet another side of Columbia, like the north side and... Um, 
the daughter, the granddaughter lives on the east side and the skating rink here with us is on the west side. So it's the only one and a lot of parents come from all over the place to drive their kids to these lessons, which I know happens a lot. But she is having the time of her life. And it was cold in there yesterday. Whew. I was cold. I don't know if I like this, but we're going to go with it. In hindsight, I may have glued these down to brown paper and cut them out. No, we wanted mixed media. Okay. I'm telling you, scattered. Our art event is under hold, not hold, but keep on top of the weather. I start my painting classes back tomorrow, theoretically. <laughs> Gotta watch for the school district info for that tomorrow. Everything's in a state of flux, waiting on weather. Only because in South Carolina, we don't get weather like this, and nor do any people know how to perform, as in drive nor do we have the equipment to deal with it. And I'm still watching the weather for my quilt retreat because that's going to be in Missouri and I have to, I'm driving like I did last year by myself, which doesn't scare me, but I'm not keen on driving in snow and so far the worst weather is the southern sections. Little Rock, I didn't think even got snow, but they are during this massive cold front we've had these days. All right, plug your ears. I'm going to dry this. Oh, but I got to be careful with the vellum. All right, I think I'm going to. Oh, I know. Let's do the stabilo all around the edge of these mountains. Our sawtooths. Little snow on that one. I don't dislike it. I'm not crazy about it, but I don't dislike it. And all in all, it flows with everything. I think sometimes I'm going to have to start using matte medium. But I just worrying about I worry about it in here, but I do think it would be better for my stuff. Oh, I know what it needs. It needs a blue sky. That's what it needs. Not much else going on here. I'm watching weather everywhere. Here, across the Midwest. And all parts in between for my route. And traveling on the Snake River at the same time. And helping my sister with construction issues. <laughs> taking turns sitting at her house. People hammer away, rip off and replace. Okay, hide your ears again. That I can live with, that I like.
and I used vellum and watercolor and book text, book pages, and acrylic and Posco pen. Cool. I like that. Okay. See you all tomorrow. In the snow, perhaps. <laughs>